Notion. Did I, I, did, I, I guess I forgot to send the recording for Notion. But okay, I'll be looking to to, to forward that on the YouTube channel. <laughs> this week I want to actually drop some two or three videos on YouTube. They're going to be very active now on the YouTube. So I'm doing a back test of SD card. This is a 2022 price action of November last year. And I'm going to be looking at how we could have traded this. Now the main things that we want to focus on is one, the market structure. Two, liquidity. Three, uh, areas of imbalance and then for the premium and discount and then five thing the fifth thing is we want to also look at the price action so here what can you see on the daily time frame we can see that market structure is bullish we can see a breaking structure the downside to the upside the last low that we see printing you know taking these highs is this low right there and then we had another low right below here so generally we know that the laws that we are having they are areas of strong laws here we have the strong laws and on the upside we have the weak highs okay because the price action is bullish so we have a weak high uh, we have a weak high and on the downside we have a strong low that is the picture that you see from a daily perspective currently we can see that prices have been in a range look at that prices are in a range so it would be better for us to wait for a break of this range and then uh, we can see maybe prices moving to either side now i have told you guys about the price cycle right i have told you about the price cycle and uh, we have been doing some especially some one-on-one -on -one mentorship sessions with uh, some of you here like some boomy joan right now what do we know whenever you're getting this kind of consolidations what do you expect when we get a consolidation somebody let, let's try what do you expect when you get this a trending market then it is ranging what is the expectation from that particular zone that's on the chart section mm -hmm. expansion expansion to which side boomy uh -huh. reversal they know uh -huh. so you guys have the idea so boomy is to us an expansion but uh, you need to specify the expansion is it to the upside or to the downside any other person who wants to give a try you can go ahead what do you expect whenever you see this liquidity sweep on both sides mm -hmm. boomy uh, the expansion to the downside wow that is nice so let's go back to the charts so normally when you see this in the market especially in a trending market this is normally preparing us for a reversal okay like a consolidation then an expansion of the downside then you could be lo looking to go to the uh, upside later okay now looking at the lows this is the last one that you can see the extreme low actually is this one right here and this is the high that you can now see so if you want to see a retracement at least we want to see a retracement come into such a zone okay so here we will be looking for some bearish price action if we happen to get that which will be leading us to these zones now what other aspect do we trade can we see here you can see some trend line liquidity look at that two touches of this trend line and somebody actually talked about you know us not forcing this okay so when you don't see like a trend line being touched once twice thrice okay at least three is good or two times then don't be labeling that as uh, liquidity okay so that is on the trend line mm -hmm. let's see that you can also see some areas of imbalance or the fair value gaps look at this candle right imbalanced so you have a fair value gap on that particular zone right now what else do we expect uh, can you see any other aspects of market structure in place imbalance is also in place then liquidity is in place and now we are looking to be trading from the areas of the discount right so you have a setup we could be looking for some buys if you get prices retracing to these zones now let's go to the lower time frames now so this is the first time frame so on the first time frame we are most likely to experience a bearish market right so look at the scenario on the first time frame the last zone that we see being taken out of this so here you can see there was a break of structure uh -huh. then the laws that we see these are the laws that you can see on the first time frame how this was been taken out not really okay because there is no break and close below our zone you can see that 
so we can be labeling this as a change of character or at least we want to see prices taking out this zone before we name this as a change of character so for now this is invalid and we can just label this with a single line okay, we can just label that with a line which would be a signal that actually we maybe get prices selling to the downside right now if you're looking for a sell setup where would we be looking to engage from so from the highs to the lows we'll be looking to engage from the areas of premium so from 78 to 100 these are the areas now already we have seen that prices actually have traded into this zone already okay so look at that there was this expansion downside and prices came back to the zone which is an area of supply and already that area has been mitigated so the next area that you can see was this area to mark the last sell to buy candle but on such an area here again it could be a supply area you can do this on the lower time frames for example to two hours time frame we mark the last sell uh -huh. so you can actually see again prices almost coming to this zone and then dropping the downside right then uh, what now do we see the next zone it would be such a zone here this would be the next zone that would maybe expect to see prices retracing to then we move to the downside so you can actually see prices are following a certain trend okay and again it is forming series of uh, supplies so looking at this, this is what you call a supply chain and a supply chain is usually again some kind of trend line liquidity right there but still we'd be expecting we, i personally don't expect prices to trade past this zone okay let's just name this as a weak high okay but we want to see if we can get a pullback to the downside already we have started seeing this bearish price action okay so our expectation would be we can see prices retracing back to an area then we get sales kicking in which will be long-term sales to the downside so let's look at the next thing that happened mm -hmm. I move to the downside and then uh -huh. prices have traded into this area right this is the area that we wanted to see price trade into now let's look at will this first area hold prices if it doesn't hold prices we could be waiting for uh, a deeper move into the areas then we could be looking for more sales so of course we now go to the lower time frames whereby we are going to be looking for confirmations so look at when prices traded into the zone look at the one hour time frame rejections right uh -huh. what time is it new york session open do you see that new york session open right this one right here it's already at three uh -huh. new york session has opened we have got rejections okay this is actually this november so november again daylight savings this means that no new york session will open at four therefore we'd get our shots from such a zone short position right there stop loss let's put it slightly below the zone and then our targets so these are the kind of close our stop loss would be approximately 23 pips and then we could be looking for longer targets to the downside okay so let's um, i want to, see, to use the sell button so that we can see at the end of the block testing what we will have gained okay. so now we have taken a sell from this particular point and we are looking to trade to the downside right now looking at the lower time frames look at the two hours time frame how it also closed they closed with that indecision during new york session open the one hour the same thing uh let's look at lower time frames i told you the more time frames you get you give me you like the same same idea the more likely the trade is going to be holding okay like the more we get more time frame supporting your idea you can get your trade in a high probability trade so already price is traded the zone and then what we see now is we could be looking for sales the downside now the first target you can see a lot of trend line liquidity or sell side liquidity on the downside which would be these ones okay so this would be target to the downside but you don't want to have like very long term targets so this is liquidity so what we'll be looking for is at least to at least target this okay for the first thing mm -hmm. so now that's new york session has opened the next thing is a, a big sell kind of to the downside right some good momentum now let's look at our risk so our risk here was 22 pips already this first kind of has given us about three percent returns look at that three percent returns we have raised 22 and now you can see price have already given 67 right so what do we do from from this from this information what should we do 
let me know my chart section this is part of trade management what should you do when you get such what should we do uh, just as break even the shan break even so everyone break even right so you are break even for that particular point and uh your trade is now risk free so here we can now bring a stop loss to break even right there uh, this should be around here and our stop loss is now at break even okay <laughs> now to that we already we have got like three percent returns in a single session it's like a, within a span of two hours we have got three percent returns now if you're fine like taking that okay you can take that but if you're looking for more we can still hold this for more now here we want to hold for more because we are like more of looking at the structure but it is going to be holding as our expectations so uh trade is risk free let's see what is going to happen the so next candle next candle you can see uh -huh, much of a range now uh, you can see now it's buying right now let's let's look at this because this is what happens in the live market uh -huh. we have seen a very nice sell to the downside right our trade is already at break even what would be expectation if we happen to get a pullback i personally wouldn't be expecting a pullback that will go to more than 78 percent which is already our break even point let me first remove this okay if we expect a pullback we don't expect a pullback to go past 78 percent which is already our break even point we have already set break even right so let's see what's going to happen mm -hmm. then sales sales wow look at that yes guys this was awesome right now let's close our trade we had taken a sale right here and uh why do we close this trade okay there is where where is this i want to close the position okay yeah. so we have closed our position in in uh 26 dollars profit now look at that look at that entry look at that entry and look at how we manage the entry and how we manage our trade and again look at the time and look at all the confluences we have used to enter this trade and exit the trade all right Lashani have raised your hand any question you can unmute your mic if you wish let me allow that Lashan, you can go ahead um, yeah, <laughs> okay okay now to be safe let's just set it at the start yes we know that this is going to be taken out but from my experience sometimes you can get like prices pushing to the zones and then you know our expectations are not met we get like the trade has not actually come to the origin of this liquidity but one thing that i've been actually insisting on and uh, most of you that you have had like the one-on-one -on -one sessions have been insisting on this whenever you have training liquidity it's always going to be to the origin where it all started you can see this one started right here and then we have training liquidity it is going to be taken out to the origin so look at such and again you guys have been talking about uh, liquidity and what i always say is whenever you have this areas of liquidity we usually get like a very you know very aggressive sales okay if it's a sell side we get aggressive sales targeting the sell side if it is a buy we, we look we get like very aggressive buys targeting the buy side okay that is the case example that we did yesterday on eurocard we had actually uh, pointed out some trend liquidity and uh, you can see if you go to a test right now what happened yesterday evening was very aggressive buys going for the buy side liquidity right now look look at that it was a nice trade right we are out now waiting for the next step here our uh, overall win is here is uh, about 240 pips the risk reward ratio the overall is 16 uh, on a single trade and you have hit our target now what what is our expectation and again learn from this trade right from the entry model down to trade management that we used okay 
and are looking like everything how you have managed this and again look at this and uh, put it in your books you have this areas of supply right why did you take this area and we didn't take any other area above who can tell us the reason why we took the first area but we need to consider this one or this other area let's know anybody you can even unmute your mic how do you take this area the second area, that area and not the first or the second one so let me just name them supply mitigation 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 perfect so this is the concept of mitigation whereby already if prices have traded into a certain area okay then there is no need for prices to be coming back to the same same area okay there is no need at all to, for, to see prices coming back to the same area so we are going to be looking at the areas that have not been mitigated right and this was the area to give confirmation during your session and you can see euro card is a new york pair and you can see that it performed now again look at the setup we came from this on the daily time frame because this time frame, it was much of a range right and we said when we have a range especially in the trending market if you always see this happening the market was in a trend a good trend maybe to the upside and then you start seeing this a consolidation this is preparing you for a reversal to downside okay so that is something that i personally have but tested a lot on so let's let's continue so trailing liquidity has been taken up we expect more sales to the downside so let's see <clears throat> so you can see actually now we have had this taken out and you can see this area we now have a car closing below the area you can see that okay so now it has given us a break of structure to the downside right mm -hmm. so let's see uh -huh, even a better break to the downside and then uh -huh, uh, like some small consolidation of this area after this break you can see that it was kind of a range and then an expansion to the downside now that we have had a break of structure what do people think? What should you do? I mean the change of character now. Okay. We have now had the change of character. What should we do? Let's know the next step. I gave the first steps. I need people to give to give me the second steps. We have had the change of character. What's next? What's next? This is a real trading, right? <laughs> Going back to the past that I look at how could we have traded this market? Anybody who wants to give a try? Can I try? Yeah, you can uh, go ahead. Mm -hmm. So, where are you going to be placing a fib from? So, here. Side. Mm -hmm. So you take a few from there to there. Perfect. Thank you. Great. Jeffrey. Anybody else with a different opinion from Jeffrey? Let us know. Uh -huh. A retracement and a sale. Frederick Mongi, the same retracement and a sale. Uh -huh. Perfect. Of course, whenever you get this, any structure. We always get a retracement to the upside and then now we can get sales resuming right so this was the last mitigated area so we're going to be looking at the areas of premium from this area okay so the premium areas are these areas i'm going to be marking them with just a box a big box like that one now we can delete this so you're now going to be looking for a continuation sell to the downside let go let's go to the one now and refine the zone now why have we not taken this zone? This is also zone that broke a structure, right? You can see the price echo was in play. Yeah. So this was a break of structure. This was a range, right? A consolidation, expansion, retracement. Why are you not expecting a reversal from this point? Why can't you say, oh, let's sell from this zone? Let's get. I can unmute your mics, guys. Very free session, this one. Unmute your mics. Why are you not selling from this area? Or is it even wise to be selling from the area? 
mm -hmm. not in the premium from Bumi inducement, not in premium. Perfect, perfect. So you guys have the knowledge. I, I love it. I love this. So this is premium, right? From the highs, the lows. It's not premium at all. So I'm going to be looking, and again, you can see here, imbalance concepts again right above this. Okay, you can see there is this imbalance. Therefore, would we'll be waiting for this one to be taken out. We can be looking to trade from this. So yeah. We expect this to be acting as an area of inducement then later it is going to be taken out right there on inducement area <laughs> we want to trade to the areas of uh, premium so from these highs let's first uh, this. so from these highs this is the premium area so we're going to be looking at the reaction from the premium area so let's see Area of inducement was actually taken out. Okay, look at this. This area of inducement was taken out. Then what happens? After this area is taken out, we see prices sign the downside, and we get this another break of structure to the downside, right? So so far we haven't lost anything. We haven't lost. We have only taken one trade. We are waiting for the second up here, and we have not got that, right? Now. What do we do? Because we have had another break of structure to the downside, yet prices didn't come to our area. I want to get these steps from it. What do we do now? Mm -hmm. What do we do? Price are broken on the structure. This is the high that caused the structure. And you have this other high. What do we do? Assuming you are the one who has stayed in this market. What do we do? Jeffrey, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh, from this eye. Okay, so we place here uh, this to this, and uh, you'll be looking to be buying from this. I mean, selling from this. Okay. Perfect, thank you. Mm -hmm. Let's see rest. Uh, Frederick Mongu, look for demand zones from the left. Mm -hmm. An idea too. They know you can now use the current range for sell setup. Mm -hmm. uh, let's show you do it. <laughs> you have no other idea, you just have to wait. Eh? Now let's let's follow Mwangi's idea. So Mwangi is telling us that we look for demand zones from the left. So looking at the left. Which demand zones can we see, like the valid demand zones? The valid demand zones that we saw, it was actually down here, right? which were the discounted areas. You can see, this is the valid areas of demand that we'll be looking to be buying from, right? So, among you have already marked out the demand areas, and there's no significant demand area that we'll be looking to trade from at the moment, right? So, we'd expect more sales to the downside, right? And I actually, why, why am I seeing like I was in this in this market? This was just last year. This month I've been a trade that I actually gave during New York session. Let me see. Let me see. This is interesting. Okay, but let, let me, you know, we can't always remember all this, but this one looks familiar. This price actually looks familiar. <laughs> so now, somebody say we look for sales from here. And uh, now let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. More sales, more sales, more sales, more sales, more sales, more sales. Mm -hmm. What do you see currently? Now let's go to the three hours time frame. Or the four hours time frame. Now on the four hours time frame, we saw, uh, uh, you know, the, on these higher time frames, we can see a kind of a range, right? There is a kind of a range right here. Now, could this be telling us something? We can see a range here. Now, the price cycle, right? Expansion. What would you be expecting at this range? Let me know. What is the expectations, people, from this range that we can see here? What's the expectations? We are seeing a range. What do you expect from that area? I want us to learn. 
what do you expect from there? Okay. You can see a range. Mm -hmm. Let's brainstorm together. Raster the supply. Quite interesting. Somebody else? What do you expect at this range? What do you expect? Mm -hmm. Okay, so such a scenario, check this and then go for this, right? Uh -huh. So, similar idea to what uh, Mwangi is telling us. So, let's look at what happened here. Uh -huh. Prices move to the upside, then uh, more buys. Now, interesting. Let's go back here. Interesting. Now, do you see people this concept of uh, the, the what the price cycle working whereby only before we get like a kind of a reversal you don't get in a consolidation in the market a range then a reversal right and we could expect this reversal to come to such an area before we get a continuation trade to the downside right what you have seen is the same has happened here and that's the same, same thing that has been on the daily time frame. If you people still remember when you started, we saw a range, okay, in a trending market on the upside. And we said this range is preparing us for a sell to the downside. And we got the sales, right? Now you have seen the contrary. You have seen a range on a market trending for downside. And this range was preparing us for a buy to the upside, right? Though we didn't engage into these buys. There was no good area for us to be engaging into the buys right so after that prices get almost to our area <clears throat> and then start selling so would you sell from side zones of course no this is much of inducement right inducement so we'd be waiting for prices to trade high uh, you can see the fair value gaps almost filled okay so we're going to be expecting to see how the prices trade to a zone then we get a continuation trade to the downside Hmm. More sales, more sales, more sales, more sales, more sales. Now, let, let me pose a question to you guys. Prices have almost traded into our area, okay? We have not got the sales. Is it safe to look for buys? Is it safe to look for buys to these zones? Is it safe to look for buys? We have seen prices have almost traded into the area. But they are not mitigated our area. So would it be safe to be looking for buyers in the area? Mm -hmm. Benice, don't think it's safe. And uh, somebody else, do you think it's safe looking for buyers? Nope, 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 nope. Wow. So almost everybody is saying no. The reason is we have already traded into the areas of premium, right? You can see price have traded is the 78%. With that and now we are moving to the downside so it wouldn't be safe at all for us to be looking at the demand areas to get some buys from okay so here we still have to wait and see if prices will manage to come back to these areas so let's see but this is one thing that is quite interesting mm -hmm. now prices are buying to the upside uh -huh. now, now look at again what is happening here Prices came trade, traded almost into the zone, right? And then printed a doji. You can see this. Prices came, traded almost in the zone again, and then started selling off. Impatient traders are going to get in here. If you're one of them, then learn from this, okay? People who get in from such zones, yes, your zone has not been mitigated, right? And you can see... Price have already been selling, right? And you get to the sales. Your sales don't last for long. You, you are happy for some time and then, boom, you are taken out, right? Look at that again. We saw prices come into this area, right? Prices reacted to this area of demand right here, a small one, and this area gave some push to the upside, right? Mm -hmm. A very, a very interesting price action right here on your SD card. Time. So let's look again. This was the a zone that actually broke a structure whereby we saw we started seeing the, now the bullish structure coming in, right? You can see there was this first break, second break, 
the prices retrace to the new zone and then what do you see when prices retrace the new zone prices uh, the first zone was touched here it was at 6 p.m at night okay i mean the evening right a doji then when i took the trade at six uh, but they don't do that when prices get to a zone at 6 p.m don't be looking to execute at that time wait until the next day so you can see until the next day it was much of a range then again prices trade in the zone and now during an session we started the moves to the upside right and you can see you can see now new york session and all that uh, the move started there, there okay now let, let's let's do more of this when prices traded almost into this zone do we see a range again with the price cycle again in place we see a range on especially on the lower time frame 30 minutes 15 15 minutes this was more of a range right a consolidation then an expansion to the upside so the price cycle a very important aspect in our trading now we have traded into our zones okay we have traded into these zones now Remember, we also have another zone that is up here. Okay, we can't ignore that. We have traded into the first zone. Do we see any errors of imbalance above our zone? Yes, we see that. Okay, so this is not a very high probability area for us to be looking to sell from. Now, prices have traded into this zone. Do we take a sell now? Do we take a sell? Prices have, have now to, are now into our zone. Do we take a sell? Do we take a sell? Nope, nope, nope. So everybody's perfect. You people are fine. So this momentum, the buying momentum is so strong, right? So we can be taking a sell from this particular point. Let's see if prices will be closing above the zone. Most likely, this zone is about to be taken out. This is already New York session. You can see that these are three, uh, four, you know, four to five. Already this zone does not look like it will hold prices anymore. So let's look at what will happen. So the zone has been taken out, right? This zone has been taken out. We are now moving to the upside. So our zone has been invalidated, right? Now we have to monitor this zone that was now up here. Okay. So let's see. Let's see what would happen now. Uh -huh. If prices are going to get to our zone. Uh -huh, then now we are getting a retracement. Now let me pose another question again. Is it still safe to look for more buys to the upside? Now, this is actually a break of structure. I want you to assume it's you trading this type of market. We have now had another break of structure to the upside, right? Prices have not traded into our zone, which is right up here. Okay. Uh -huh. look, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Prices, you know, took out this zone. Then after that, closed the doji. And then you can see now rejections. Is it still safe to look for buys? Would you be looking for buys leading us to this zone? What is the scenario what would we do now? Mm -hmm. Venice personally wouldn't be looking for buys. Uh -huh. What about the rest of members? Uh -huh. Jeffrey would buy. Bumi, nope. Mm -hmm. What about the rest? Let's get their feedback. You can see a lot of you are in the meeting. They know Joan, Shan. Mary, Robin, mm -hmm. Venice certainly uh, after an inducement is taken out and I see a doji, that's a reversal. Uh -huh. Eric, look for a buy. Collins, no. Uh -huh. So, <laughs> yeah, most people are undecided, right? Now, I'm also confused here. Would it, be, it, would it be safe looking for buys? Now, looking at the zone that was our inducement zone, first of all, there is no significant break of structure on the upside. We don't see any significant candle, especially on three hours, closing above our zone, right? On four hours, we see the candles actually closing above our zone. Uh -huh. We have filled this imbalance, but still, there is this more imbalance on the upside. So this is a scenario whereby, because we have seen on four hours, by the way, there is a nice, nice break, right? And you have heard this was the first break. So here, this is a tricky, tricky point that we need to make some, you know, informed decisions here. Let me check uh, the comment section again. Then, oh, personally, I would wait to see what the prices will do. Huh? But remember, we are here to engage most of the time, right? 
We are not here to just look at prices. We are here to make decisions and see the outcomes of our decision. So they know you need to make a decision whether they are going to be looking for buys or you are just going to see. Now, personally, what do you see here? Uh, if we are looking for a buy setup, this is what I would do. Already prices are traded into this area. Okay. But I don't believe this area was the best area for us to be looking to buy from. Now, the reason is, look at the area down here. Okay. We have this area which is down here. So if I was personally looking for a buy, I would be looking to be buying from this point. But again, this buy becomes a very risky buy because this is a weak low. Don't forget that the market structure is uh is bearish right therefore this is a weak low we have this trend and liquidity so i'm going to be expecting prices to hit that this, this trend line and then continue maybe with some short term buys then the buys are taken out when you had this reverse one of the time that we had this reverse it was actually at night right and then you saw like a small consolidation again the price cycle a small consolidation then a drop so let's now monitor what will happen at these zones. Mm -hmm. So expect more sales from the zones to the downside, or we get buyers taking us to the area. Mm -hmm. So interesting. Look at what happened. Prices didn't get to the area that I actually wanted to be trading from, which is this area. Okay. But we have seen prices get into this area, and again missing the area. Look at that. This is a demand area. Mm -hmm. This is a demand area, the bigger area of demand, right? But what do we see? What do we see now happening? Our buy setup, which was down here, now for me it is invalid. So I wouldn't be looking to be buying anymore, right? Prices are now moving to the upside. What do we see happening here? We can see some areas of relative equal lows, right? Equal lows are the zone. Mm -hmm. Again, trend line liquidity, okay? Can also name these, for example, much, much more areas of liquidity. Again, the price cycle, I'll be expecting this now. Now, we know always that when we get a reversal, these reversals, we're going to be targeting, okay, these areas of equal lows. We know the, 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 the aim of each phase of the market, okay. First, we have the consolidation phase, which is the liquidity builder phase, right. Then number two, we have the expansion phase. And when you get the expansion phase, this is where we get prices expanding a lot of selling momentum to the downside or to the upside, right? Leaving in balanced price action. Then the third phase, which is the retracement phase, we get this retracement phase to fill this areas of rebalance. And then the last phase, which is the reversal, we get the reversal targeting the areas of liquidity. You guys need to be good in that, right? So prices didn't give, didn't give us any area to be buying from. Actually, the areas that prices you know reacted with, these these are areas that does not make sense at all, right? Prices are now coming to our area. Shall we get the sales that we have been waiting for for quite a long time? Shall we get that? Mm -hmm. Now look at this. Prices have traded almost into the area, and uh, they have started selling. Now remember that this is a setup that we have been waiting for quite some days, right? And all the team prices trading almost into the area and they are starting to sell. So what will you people do and what are most traders going to do here? They're going to engage into the sales, right? Because they're like, oh my goodness, I've been waiting for this for quite a long time and it's now selling, right? So here, psychology is tested. So we expect this to be taken out again, area of inducement. Mm -hmm. So eventually, let's see kind of a range right here uh -huh. then this range has taken the sell side of it right let's see what is going to happen then after the sell side another range then price is going for the buy side look at that prices take out the highs of this range we now remove this have this actually been taken out let's see let's zoom out and see so these are the highs right the highs of this range have been taken out and then what do we see a rejection then a sell uh -huh. look at the momentum again if you wanted to sell one thing i know is if this was going to sell 
it would hold with like a lot of selling momentum but what you see right here there is no selling momentum at all so see let's wait and see mm -hmm. some cells coming in the momentum very slow momentum right look at that uh -huh. Uh -huh. which month is this let's just look at this this is december right so you can understand this is december this is from 7th of december the whole of december it was much of a range right until january now of this year <laughs> now the year has ended without a setup this is a setup that we have waited since when <laughs> interesting since when prices started these buys which is on november okay we have waited for this setup for the whole of november and for the whole of december and now prices are coming to these zones in january right so let's see is january giving as a sale let's say january 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 prices in a range 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 uh -huh. then we get now move to the downside uh -huh. sales now holding sales holding look at this a lot of trailing liquidity at these levels uh -huh. let's look what happened january 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 uh -huh. We expect the weekly to be taken out. We have not got our sell set up, but we knew prices are going to be in a sell, and our weekly is almost being taken out. So look at the price action of this uh, during the whole of January. It was not that interesting. We are now in February, still no setup, right? We are now in February. Let's look. Uh -huh. We expect more sales to the downside. More sales, more sales. Again, a range. Quite a choppy market, this one. Uh -huh. This may go on until March. Right? Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see. Uh -huh. Now, March. Price are now moving to the upside. Uh -huh. Trainer liquidity has it been taken out? Let's see. I said when the trainer liquidity is taken out, it's taken out the already. So look at this. If anybody was looking to trade these trend lines, it has been taken out to the origin right here. Okay. Our area which are looking to be selling from. Let's look. Prices have traded into our area. And look at the look at the, the price action when prices have traded into our area. Okay. First of all, this is at five. Uh, this is at five or nine, nine at night, right? No, no rejection from the zone. It's at night. So we'll be looking maybe to trade this the next day. So let's monitor the price action of the zone. Whether I get the zone holding prices or not. Mm -hmm. I sell to the downside. In validating our area, and then look at that. more sales more sales now we are in march of this year so this was kind of a hard pair to be trading and now the zone is holding prices let's look at the daily how did the daily close this was our supply area okay which was right here the daily candle closed with this kind of organization do you see this this was on march right <laughs> then prices traded into Still remember that these were some areas that prices could be reacting to. Okay. Prices trading the zone. The daily gave us a, a, a rejection, right? And that's why always, especially when you're starting a week, look at the daily time frame and look at the picture that is giving us. So our area right here was first invalidated, then swept most of the sell side, I mean the buy side liquidity, close to the rejection right here, and now we are getting sales. So now this is the time that we'd expect these cells to continue holding on for some time and taking out the week low. So let's see the week low that is going to be taken out. Uh -huh. No buys. Let's see. This was much of a range. Look at that. This is a daily by the way. There was a very, very big range right above here. And now we see our uh, week low eventually it is taken out. The cell setup that we're waiting for. We, we didn't take a loss on it, which was uh, from, I guess, this particular zone. But you saw if you had look at the daily time frame, okay, though this was quite choppy because after this rejection, we didn't get like a very good selling momentum, right? 
and then we got cases moving to the downside downside and the weekly has been taken out and we could now be expecting to be trading deeper into these areas of demand down here mm -hmm. so let's look at this because we are coming to the end of this at least we have got one entry into this I buy one about 16 percent returns on it if you guys here remember at least we had a single entry on usd card uh, which oh actually what we're having is now we are now coming back to the <laughs> current price action look at now this is the live market okay we have seen the way was taken out we are still have to be trading into these areas of demand down here uh -huh. then we have had a certain area which is right here holding some prices and now we have seen prices moving to the upside coming back to the same same zone that had prices okay again taking out this zone and we now have prices trading into the extreme area which was this area okay the extreme area which was that area uh -huh. so now what would you be looking for in this zone now would this zone still continue holding prices or do you expect this zone to be taken out from the swing low which is right here to this zone we have already seen prices almost trading into the 78 percent right uh -huh. almost trading but didn't come to the 70 percent so what what will you be looking now from this area what is the expectation spread this what is the expectation from this area what do we expect from the current area this is actually what we have now in the live market let me see on your chart uh -huh. we choose a good pair to back test uh -huh. oh we chose do you mean we chose english <laughs> sales uh -huh. griffin is saying sales sales from the area uh -huh. what about the rest uh -huh. lashan expecting this area to be taken out uh -huh. Sell mm -hmm. just as oh, that was earlier. Uh, any, anything else? Anything else? What do you expect from the current area on USD card? Sell most of you are saying sell, right? But again, you have to consider look at this a high, another high, another high. These are now three highs. Okay, do you expect this area to hold prices? Well, as we have found like three relative equal highs. Uh, this zone okay, that's now what you said for carry above okay <clears throat> three highs three highs coming to the same same zone do you expect this zone to still continue holding prices prices have already traded down to a certain area the very discounted area but if you include the 6 to 1 which you used to use in the past i believe prices must have traded into 6 to 1 let's check 6 to 1.8 yeah, you can see already price have traded to 6.8 percent right only that we didn't get prices trading there so already price have traded in kind of the discount so personally i expect this area to be taken out this may take a lot of time normally in the day time frame so this may take actually a lot of time okay so you have had uh, how many trades i uh, okay back to in session uh-huh right there we won trade right we won a single trade whereby we won about 16 percent return the trade was taken open, and we ended up like winning uh, 16 percent return the confirmation was from the one hour time frame and also the two hours time frame right we saw that and the trade uh, duration we didn't, we didn't check the trade duration by the way it was something important that we're going to be including next time in the back testing session so let me in the recording for you to make sure that you subscribe we are going to be dropping more and more content. Much welcome. <laughs>